Hello everyone. So this is the disclaimer video in which we are going to see couple of points before we start our bug bounty hunting journey. All the vulnerabilities that are shown in the course are only for educational purposes. All of them are ethically reported under the responsible disclosure program and kindly do not practice on those websites shown in the course. Not to report any bug to the programs that are been shown in the videos. Learn the principle and the approach from the websites which are shown and search them on other live websites and bug bounty programs and report to them responsibly. The author holds no responsibility as all the attacks taught are for educational purposes only and does not in any manner promote illegal activities. Thank you. So, we are going to first learn what is burp suit? Why are we going to use burp suit? What are proxy tools? And the lab setup of burp suit for conducting further attacks. So, before starting with burp suit, I would like to tell you guys that burp suit is a proxy tool. So what is a proxy and how a proxy works? We are going to see into this video. As you can see on your left side is the client and at the right side is the server. And in between there is proxy sitting between the client and the server. So the client sends a request to the server. There is a proxy sitting in between which is nothing but burp suit which intercepts your requests also intercepts your response. So what does it do by intercepting? Intercepting generally means whenever the client is sending a request, it will first go to the proxy that is the burp suit and then when the interception is turned off, the request will go further to the server. Similarly, when the server is sending a response back to the client, the proxy, which is the burp suit, will capture the response and when we do intercept off, it will come back to the client's browser. So this is how a basic proxy works. It sits in between of the client and the server and it sees whatever data is passing through in the request or in the form of the response. You can also call proxy as man in the middle attack. Why? Because proxy is basically sitting between your computer and the server. So your data has been passing through someone else and that someone else is your proxy and that someone else is a burp suit. So your data is going to pass through burp suit. So you can also call this a MITM attack that is man in the middle attack. Perfect. So after understanding how a proxy works, let's see how can we do the burp suit lab setup. So we are going to first see how we can set up burp suit and then how we can configure burp suit with our browser. After that, how we are going to do proxy setup and then last we'll see how we can attack. So it's the practical time, time to practice and let's see the practical setup of burp suit. For setting a burp suit, you require two things. The first thing is a browser and the second thing is burp suit itself. So for the browser, I prefer Mozilla Firefox, the latest version. You can, you can also install Mozilla Firefox. Why? We are not going to use Google Chrome, Safari or Internet Explorer because of some type of compatible issues when we are setting a proxy. That's why we will only prefer Firefox as our main browser for conducting all types of attacks. So after successful installation of Mozilla Firefox or if you already have it installed, you just have to go and search for Burp Suit onto Google. 
after you search for verb suit there will be the first link of portsvicker.net you have to just click on that as you can see welcome to the verb suit family there will be a last option that is community edition so basically there are enterprise professional editions also but those are paid editions so we are going to use a free edition so just click on get community after clicking on there you will see there is download the latest version so you can navigate here and click on download the latest version after clicking on this you can choose a required burp suit release version for your computer if you are using Linux you can choose Linux if you are using Mac OS you can use Mac OS if you are using Windows then you can use Windows if you want a compatible version which can run on all the versions of your operating system you can download a jar version and which can run through Java so in my case I'm running onto an Apple Mac OS so I'm going to download Mac OS and I will hit on download as you can see it is of around 180 MB for my operating system it may vary for your computers you just have to save the file and click on OK. I've already downloaded, so I'm not going to download it again. Perfect. So now, after downloading, you just have to start it and install it. Installation steps are very simple. You just have to do a couple of next, 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 and finish, and it will get installed for Windows based computers. For Mac OS computers, you just have to double click it, drag it into your application folders, and it will get installed. For Linux computer, the steps are same for as for the Windows computer. You have to do a couple of next and then finish. As soon as you have installed, you can see this is the Bubsuit screen, screen wherein Bubsuit will start. So I'm just going to press next and then one more start burp button. As soon as you click on start burp, Bubsuit will start. And this is the first look on Bubsuit that how it looks. This is basically the UI that you are going to use a lot. So you should get familiar with this user interface. So as you can see, there are a couple of tabs. At the top, there is burp, intruder, repeater, window help. Then there are a couple of tabs over here. We are going to use most of the tabs into our attacks. So the first and very important tab is the proxy tab that you have to configure. So I will quickly go onto the proxy tab. I will just click on it. After clicking on this tab, you can see there are further more tabs. Four sub tabs, you can say. First is intercept. Second is HTTP history. Third is WebSockets history. And the last one is options. As you can see, I'm onto the first sub tab that is intercept. You can see there are more things over here. Forward drop intercept is on and action. All these three are disabled right now. Only this one is enabled and it is on. Intercept on basically means whenever a request is going from your computer to any server, you can capture that request into Bob suit and see whatever is going to the server. Similarly, whatever is coming from the server can be captured into Bob suit and you can see the response also. We are going to use this in the later parts of the video. For now, we'll just quickly set up our burp suit. So I will just turn this off and I will go into the last option. I will just show you what is an HTTP history. HTTP history tab, tab just takes all the history of whatever you're running onto your browser. Similarly, WebSocket history contains any WebSocket connections if are made not relevant for us right now for the start. We'll quickly move on to the options tab wherein you can see that the first thing is proxy listeners you just just have to select the proxy and you have to click on edit so my proxy is a loopback ip that is 127.0.0.1 and there is a port number that is 8080 the application by default will run on port 080 but I want to change this port because 
may be in some computers there may be some service running on 8080 port because sometimes the developers use this app this port number to test for their some of the demo applications to run so this may give this may give some problems so just to avoid that we are going to change the port number and stay on the safe side so we are going to make the port number as 8081 and click on ok so we have successfully changed the port number and we can see there is a tick mark on running which means our proxy is running successfully after setting this up i will just go back to the intercept tab and now I'm going, going, I'm going to go to the Firefox browser. Now it is time to configure the browser because we have already configured the burp suit. In browser, you have to click on these three dots at the right top and you have to move to the preferences tab. For Windows based computers, it will be named as options. For Linux and Mac OS users, it is named as preferences. After going in preferences, you have to search for proxy. You have to type your proxy and you will be able to see there is an option called settings. You just have to click on settings and there are four options over here. The first option is no proxy, auto detect proxy, use system proxy and manual proxy. So you have to choose, choose the last option that is the manual proxy. And you have to configure the proxy over here and the port number over here. Remember, you have to put the port number that you have selected into burp suit. So I have selected 8081. So I'm going to type here 8081. You can take any port number that you want and you can configure in burp as well as here. For example, you can configure port number 1234 in burp suit as well as 1234 into your browser. After doing this port number, and the loopback IP, you have to click this. You have to check this, that use this proxy for FTP and HTTPS also. Remember, that is important that you checkbox this option. Then you have to click on OK. And now we are going to test that our browser is successfully configured with burp suit or not. So for that, you just have to open a new tab and type HTTP colon slash slash burp and enter. If you are able to see this screen, which is a green orange screen and then which means your burp is successfully configured. Perfect. So burp is configured. Now we have to install a CS certificate into our browser to make burp capture the requests. So for this, you just have to click on this CA certificate and then you have to save this certificate. After saving, you can see I have already downloaded 12 times. So this is the 12th download that has happened into my computer. Now I will again go to the preferences or settings you can say, and I will search for certificate. As we have to install the certificate here, I will click on view certificates. And in the authorities tab, that is the last tab, I have to go in the import button as at the bottom, as you can see over here. I will see the path of the certificate. The certificate is over here. I will just click on import. And I'm going to search for the certificate that I have downloaded. I have downloaded CSR 12. So I will just import that. And you can see in my computer, it is already installed. So it is saying certificate is already installed. But in your computer, if you're configuring, configuring this for the first time, it will ask you, do you trust this certificate? Then you have to check box twice. There will be two check boxes. You have to check box. You have to tick both the check boxes, which means you trust that certificate and you have to press enter. As I've already done that, I'm not, I don't have to do that again. And this certificate is already installed into my computer. Perfect. Now our burp suit successful configuration has been done and let's verify if you are able to intercept or not. 
so I will just go into my burp and click on intercept on and I'm going to search for google.com there is an error let me verify the proxy is running perfectly fine in burp let me see into my settings of browser let me just type proxy and you can see here yep so I missed checking this as I said it is very important let me hit ok and let me try to reload this let me go to burp and check if it is working fine and you can see it is working fine I have got the request of google.com into my computer as I made a request on my browser I have captured the request into the burp suit which is the proxy now as you can see there are these options forward drop and action as you must have understood forward means to forward this request that I have captured to the server drop means drop the request and in between the request will just die and action we are going to see in further videos so for now I'm going to make it forward so the request will go to the server and the server is going to send the response back to a computer so let me just search for Batman go in burp suit and then hit enter over here the request must have passed through the proxy and we have captured the request in burp suit let's go to burp suit and this is the most helpful feature of burp suit at the build at the bottom as you can see this is a search bar you can just search for anything into your request that has been going so i'm just going to search for batman and this will automatically so show if it matches into this request so batman is not matching as you can see zero matches i'm going to forward this request perfect as you can see batman is matching at two places and you can see two matches found so i'm just going to replace batman with superman in the request so i've changed this and after changing i will just forward this request do intercept off and go to my browser as now you can see i searched for batman through my browser but when the request came to my proxy that is the burp suit i modified the request to superman this was a very basic example of how you can capture your request and how you can modify your request similarly we can modify our responses that is coming from the server that we'll see in our further videos where we'll do attack for response manipulation i hope you guys understood how to set up burp suit into your computer if you have any doubts you can post your doubts in the discussion session i will help you guys how to set up burp suit thank you